Bearing in mind this is an election year. In the forum, we were guided by the words of 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, that reminded us of being courageous and persistent in doing what is light. Following these deliberations, we wish to share the following message. One, we must not compromise peace. We continue to call upon our people to jealously uphold peace and tolerance even as political campaigns get intense. The utterances we have witnessed recently as politicians tear into each other publicly are a fodder for violence and a bad example to the youth and children of this country. Remember that elections are never a do or die affair. Our constitution accords us a democratic right to express ourselves differently and support whoever we wish without being hindered or forced. We must act prudently and not allow politicians to divide us and incite us to violence against each other. After elections, the opponents may have a hardship, yet the woods will inflict on each other. Fighting for them will permanently remain with us. And if unhappy with any candidate, Gojea Mkutane Kwadebe, just express it at the ballot box by voting for your favorite candidate. The best gift we can give to ourselves in the coming elections is to participate peacefully and remain tolerant with one another. Secondly, we have a message to the youth, to our dear young people. We implore you to remain sober and oppose any attempt to be manipulated by politicians and their supporters to join illegal gangs like the Mugeke getting intoxicated with the drugs and alcohol and perpetrating hate and violence. Despite the difficult economic times, selling yourself for cheap short-term incentives will only serve to deteriorate the situation. Should those who manipulate you get into leadership, they will make things worse for the country since theirs is hunger for power by all means and not service. And should you ever be caught in the illegal acts, they will leave you to face the consequences alone. We implore on you to ask them the hard questions on what they intend to do for you to lower the cost of living, create employment opportunities, and support youth enterprises. Consider leveraging on your numbers to come up with the manifestos containing demands that those seeking your votes must prove they can meet to warrant your votes. Number three, elect quality leadership, not for quality services. Elect quality leadership for quality services. As various aspirants present themselves for consideration for different positions, let not fall for the politicians come where they make their opponents their political agenda. Let us demand from them to hear what they will do differently to improve our lives if elected. The same way, we carefully select the best of the products in the market for our consumption. Let's carefully weigh those that seek your, our votes to lead us for the next five years and only consider those with a proven track record of quality service and who pass the integrity test. In Moranga, we need to hear what you have for us, your vision, past experiences, and background, not your money. 
how to look on whom you associate with. And lastly, our commitment. Understanding the importance of the religious leaders in the matters of our county, we, continue, we commit to continue encouraging our people to remain peaceful and tolerant, remain accommodative to all without being partisan, hold players as individuals, congregations, and jointly, and encourage people to come out and exercise their democratic right of electing their leaders and collaborate with like-minded partners to secure elections in 2022. Conclusion, our unending prayer is that may we dwell in unity, peace, and liberty. Plenty be found in our borders. God bless Moranga County. God bless Kenya. Ni ombi letu kwa viongozi wote wa makanisa balibali ya kwamba tunapo endelea kujiadaa kwa ajili ya uchaguzi. Tukumbuke ya kwamba sisi tuna ni wachugaji ama tunalisha kondoo wa mungu na hawa kondoo wanawale viongozi ambao wangependa kufuata kwa sababu wana mawazo tofauti na hisia zao ni tofauti. Lakini sisi kama viongozi wa dini, tunastahili kuhubili amani, tunastahili kuhubili umoja, na kuwa kimoja, kwa sababu sisi ni watu moja katika kristo, na hatuna tofauti katika kristo. Na kwa hivyo ijili yetu, ikuwe ni ijili ya amani, ijili ya kuunganisha watu, ijili ya kuelekeza watu kuungana pamoja ili tunapoendelea na uchaguzi tuwe na amani na pia tuwe na ushirika ili tusitenganishe hata jamii kwa sababu pia nao wana hisia na wana, wana mawazo tofauti hata kama jamii lakini tuzidi kuunganisha pamoja tusiwe na vita katika boma zetu tusiwe na vita kwa wanarika tusiwe na vita hata katika kanisa zetu bwana atupe amani na atubariki